Hello everybody, welcome back to some history. Uh, we're not going to talk about Sargon of Akkad today, even though he's pretty cool soon. Uh, instead we'll talk about the Egyptian Old Kingdom! Egypt was completely excluded from most other social interactions of the world and remained the wallflower of society for quite a while, kind of like China. Except if Egypt was the wallflower, China was like not even at the party. So Egypt was the wallflower because they were situated around the Nile River instead of the Fertile Crescent in Mesopotamia. They were off to the southwest and stayed out of most trade agreements until later because it really wasn't that viable in 3000 BC to move stuff that far. So in the beginning of Egypt, the land was split into two factions, now called Upper and Lower Egypt. They both fought for control until about 3100 BC when Menes, also known as Narmer, unified the two empires and became the pharaoh of Egypt. He wore a nice crown, using the design from both Upper and Lower Egypt to signify that control and unification, uh, and that was when the Old Kingdom actually started. So we know the people in charge of Egypt were pharaohs. And the special thing about pharaohs during the Old Kingdom was they were considered gods by their people instead of just the Mesopotamian style where you have a king and they were mediators between gods and the people. Um, so that required a lot of trust from citizens to view their leaders as gods. And the upside of that allowed great architectural projects such as the pyramids to take place. So the pyramids were pretty crazy because the first ones were made around 2900 BC and they were basically just some rocks that the citizens put over the graves of important people. But around 2600 BC, the pharaohs decided to step it up, and they ordered people to build the classic structures we know today. So as soon as the first one was built, pharaohs in the future kept wanting to make them bigger and bigger. And the Pyramid of Khafu was the largest and the second to last pyramid ever made, standing at 481 feet tall. Uh, Khafu's son, he built the last pyramid, and he tried to make it larger, but it didn't quite make it, so he built the Sphinx too. So as we remember, the people trusted the pharaoh's divinity, but it ended up being a super major downside, because their divine power made them in charge of making sure the Nile River flooded at the right times. But around 21,000 BC, there was a series of low flooding levels, and so drought and famine erupted everywhere and it was bad and so the civilians lost their trust in the pharaohs and that was bad and then they entered the middle kingdom around 2050 bc and no one ever built pyramids again because the pharaohs just weren't cool enough anymore and there it is that's that's the egyptian old kingdom for you uh pharaohs lost their divine titles and the priests and priestesses took all the real religious power and no one built pyramids and there was some fighting but that stopped anyways that's the old kingdom everybody bye